are now? <laughs> okay, most everybody. All right, so um, I've totally lost my train of thought again now. I don't remember. I have some really, really good news. <gasps> I have, I don't know what to call it though. I don't know whether to call it the influencer team or the design team or what kind of team it is, but I have an announcement coming soon. I um, am on a new influencer team, if you will, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I have had recently two companies that you have not seen me unbox a card kit for on Card Kit Crafters. Two companies, count them, one, two companies, just agreed on terms for one year, 12 months. So that will be all that much more every month, right? So shout out to Pink and Maine, who is uh, our current this month, um, I hope, I haven't spoken to Michelle. I'm hoping that she, I'm hoping Michelle, you sent me a card kit. But nevertheless, shout out to Pink and Maine. Um, Joe is calling out Pink and Maine, but it's two companies you have not seen me unbox over on Card Kit Crafters. So if you're not a member of Card Kit Crafters, you definitely want to check it out. And if you're not a member of My Inky Fingers over on my website right there, www.myinkyfingers.com, definitely head over. Um, Todd can type it in for you, www.myinkyfingers.com. And honey, can you turn off your microphone? You know the one that doesn't work? No, mine works fine. Yours is because, oh, I already turned mine off. Because um, it's just going to kill the battery. And then, you know. Anyway, and nobody can hear you down there. So you can mumble and grumble all you want. And no one will hear you. As long as you do it under your breath. Right? So. Mary says much better. Okay, I don't know what that's all about, but nevertheless, I'll have to figure that out later. Um, tonight, I have some fun stuff for you guys. First of all, I want to just kind of apologize to my inky besties who got not one but two emails from me yesterday, and I still couldn't get it right. I had it right the first time, and then I got something in my head, and then I sent out a second email with the link change, but the link went somewhere else, and I was just a mess yesterday. So, um, yeah, things were a little bit crazy yesterday in the Inky studio, but I'm getting it together. I'm just human. I mean, what? how do they say that? Um, God makes no perfect humans or something? That's definitely me because I'm always... I'm always kerfuffling things, but two emails went out yesterday. Inky Besties um, had a pre-release for the dried flowers. I'm going to show you what I've been doing with the dried flowers today. So you can head over to my website. There's a limited amount of sets because I had a limited amount of product to work with. When they're gone, they are gone, okay? And I'm not dealing with it anymore. So with that being said, I'm going to flip the script because tonight I've got something fun for you guys. This week is, you know what's so funny? I was watching the news the other day and it's the second time I've seen on the news uh, fun and quirky holidays. And it was, uh, what was it? And I was like, that's old news. I did that on my channel like two months ago or a month and a half ago. It was really funny, but I was thinking about it. I'm just waiting now for them to do Take Your Pants for a Walk Day. I want to see the clips of that on the news. I want to see them walk up to people and be like, oh, hello, sir. It looks like it's Take so, Your Pants for a Walk Day. Marla <laughs> wants to know what the name of the card kit group. The card kit group is Card Kit Crafters. It's down below um in the description and it's crafters with a k like you would spell kit so it's ckk card kit crafters so make sure you are over there because that's your only chance to win um i will shout it out here every uh, every day next month as well for those new kits but this one is coming up today is the 11th but next month on the 28th is National Good Neighbor Day. And for all my flower loving fools and friends out there, <laughs> I have got flowers for you guys today. I took a little bit of a break from my cutesy because I have been on the Distress Inky bandwagon and I have got some fun for you today. So 
today is brought to you by paid for this myself not sponsored but I mean Heidi you're welcome to send me stamps anytime honey <laughs> today is this seems really close maybe my arms are just a little high this one is brushed flowers I've had this for a bit I have so many stamps that I want to show you guys that I picked up but my cart of new items has just been kind of rolled out of the way right now because I've got so many other things going on but I picked up this brushed flowers and the thing I love about this is you can take your little sponge daubers or whatever and you can blend on your stamps and if you haven't been blending on your stamps I don't know what you're waiting for I used to do that all the time I have tons of videos with doing that actually I've got um, six top six best stamping tip top tip something or other I did with Martin in the UK he did three I did three and one of them was blending so when you ink it then you come in with your dauber and a darker color and you just kind of daub around the outside it looks super super pretty but today I have something special for you because one of the things that I used to love doing was coloring on my actual red rubber stamps with my Stampin' Write markers because if you didn't know I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator but I have the Stampin' Write markers and when I came back to Stampin' Up! and photopolymer was a new thing you couldn't color on them until now I have figured out a way to do this and it looks really pretty and I'm really excited about it because I happen to have a new product that I also haven't showed you guys um, I bought so let me show you what I bought I bought this pretty white box it's like plastic and oh wait there's stuff in it so I did pick this up and these are these are my fun friendly little new friends um i ended up with about 40 some doubles because i was buying the um little kit thingies i didn't do my link list for you guys either i completely forgot i will make sure that i give you guys a link list afterward but um i was buying the sets for the tombow dual brush markers and um if you are just starting out and you want to build a collection by all means pick up a couple sets but beware because there are doubles they repeat and I did not know that actually I knew that early on but I kept buying them anyway because Tombow had a special and you know blah blah and yeah anyway long story short um thank god for Heather because Heather came over and she got a steal on 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 30 of my 40 doubles because 10 or 11 of them were triples so nevertheless thank you Heather and she picked up my marker case that I also hadn't even unboxed yet but you can use those bad boys and you can color on your photopolymer and I'm going to show you how because one of the neatest things I did not know about these markers actually I'm going to show you really quick right now this was my um sample thingy I was playing with but I want to show you something here that I think is absolutely amazing <clears throat> I uh had to get this the stand thing for it because for the markers because at least with the stand uh you get the stickers that go if you notice the little colors head over to tombow though you'll, you'll see them there and i'm now an affiliate with them so that's kind of nice apparently if you heard me complain about that before apparently um whatever department handled that uh everybody lost their job in that department now they have all new people there so i'm like okay but these we're gonna get this water going are water reactive okay let me just show you that there's like no lines left there okay i mean they are water reactive and you can watercolor with them that was the primary reason for me getting them because i wanted to invest in some i mean alta new has some water painters you know with the actual um watercolor pigment in them i've got the dr ph martins i was going to make some out of those i had a company send me some stuff that i really wasn't a fan of but i did like their watercolor pigments i was going to do some of those and then i found out these here are all water reactive so i was like well you know what I want to learn that brush thing lettering <laughs> I should do a video but I should do a live because I don't know how to do it and I'll watch a video and like you know <laughs> yeah that'll be fun um, okay so what we're gonna do is put this back 
And what I want to show you guys is first I'm going to do a wash on here because I don't want this to be white because I want it to match my project. Okay, so let's grab, um, I'll just grab this baby wipe here. Let's reuse this because I this is going to kind of spill out a little bit. So this here is my little dollar store container of vintage photo. Um, massively diluted and this here isn't airtight but don't stress and I'm going to tell you why because as the water evaporates the pigment doesn't so even if that whole little thing dried right up which mine did you just add water and it just reactivates okay so go to your dollar store or wherever um, use those old photo thing you know cases a little pill bottle whatever you want Put a little bit of um, vintage photo, whichever of your dye based Tim Holtz reinker, and then just start with a little bit of water and kind of, you know, see where it's at, see if you like it. And if you like the hue, then go with it, okay? But all I want to do is I don't want to saturate this too, too much. I just want to do a very light wash. Um, I don't think I've ever done this for you guys and showed you this before, but I used to do this a lot. And the nice thing about this is once you are done and it dries, you can actually use this and stamp on it and then watercolor because the amount of pigment here is so nominal that it really won't make that big of a difference. Now, I do want this to be wet, so I'm going to try to work quickly and I'm just going in from the side because I don't want to ruin my brushes um, and I'm just kind of coming in from the middle on the side of my brush and then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to stamp that down and I want to hold it for a second okay because I want the pigment on here to kind of grab or the watercolor paper to grab and this is watercolor paper it's Hansen XL 140 pound okay so there's that color and then i'm going to come in that one there was 837 and i like this bleeding effect so don't worry too much about that my fitbit was going off i'm like oh yay would i just get 6500 steps sitting here on my butt stamping <laughs> okay this one we're going to bring it in somewhere around here and again just hold it for a moment now, if you don't want these to bleed like this, let your paper dry. I like that effect, and you'll see why when I'm done. And it's starting to dry up a bit, but that's okay. Now here, uh, that one, I'm sorry, was $9.91. This one is $4.07. And what I like about this is it's so highly pigmented, but I am going to stamp off one time. Whoopsie, I'm going to start over because I only stamped off a portion of it. I am going to stamp off one time and then I'm going to come in here and stamp it a second time. I found that in my testing here, I found that the first generation was just a wee bit too dark and I didn't really like that. So Ruth has had her Tombows for years. Well, honey, you'll be busting them out now because now you'll have a neat little have you ever tried coloring on your photopolymer stamps now just like um, I think with most markers it it doesn't the problem biggest problem with photopolymer is they're not too <clears throat> excuse me reactive so watercolor paper and doing a watercolor effect is probably going to be one of your one of your best bets on here okay so there's that one and as you can see, this one here didn't even stamp 100%. Like, do you see the texture in here? But I love it. I love it. I love it. So this one was 158. And the last two I'm going to use is 992 and 879. So let me grab my stamps for those. And the lighter one in this tiny little guy here. And this, this sounds like I'm cleaning windows, but that's not possible. Who's got time for that? <clears throat> I don't know that huffing on them really makes them that much difference, but you know, I do it anyway. Now, 
That one goes, oh, no, I want to use this one. My light one goes away. And I've got now these little inners here. And I'm going to take the first generation on the pink, but I'm going to do second generation on the yellow just because it's a much softer flower. So now what I want to do here is let's pull out the splatter box because yesterday I did not do that. And I've got this stuff every, every, everywhere. But I gotta get my tea because my throat's already dry. Okay, so I got some fun stuff to put these on too. Lisa Acker clapping it up. Okay, now on here, I'm gonna take my Perfect Pearls mixture. This came with a ball in it. If you have a Perfect Pearls mixture anywhere, then you're one step ahead of the game because you'll always have a Perfect Pearls bottle. This was biscotti. That is long since gone. And I make my own, so you can see my, bis my biscotti sitting in the middle. Um, I'm going to link it right after Elizabeth. I showed it right in the beginning. It was a Simon Says stamp set. And I'm going to link it. Here. Hello, Simon Hurley. So here, this is the biscotti, okay? But I make it myself now because this unfortunately is a thing of the past ranger what is up with that um don't don't yell at simon he's not that's not his department but nevertheless i add the biscotti just like when you guys have seen me in my sprays and splatters video how i do my white i do it the same way and i put in the biscotti perfect pearls but i add to this a little bit of crumb cake stampin up because those are the only reinkers I have. <laughs> nevertheless, still waiting for reinkers. But nevertheless, I got the crumb cake in there. And then, of course, I add my heat protectant spray because if you add heat protectant spray, then you can spray it like that. Okay, nice fine mist. It won't gum up on you like hairspray has. If you've ever tried your own little concoction and realized that it's all kind of gumming up on you, then pull out the heat protectant spray. Okay, but how is Simon? Did did you remember me because I posted on Instagram? <laughs> I just posted the card we did. Um, actually, funny enough, that was the card I did with Ola. And then last week, you guys saw me show you that card and I used it as an inspiration for other cards. So that's what that card was that I posted. So we're just gonna go in with a little bit here of that color and now what I want to do is bring in a little bit of water because this here while it's pretty I kind of want a little bit more of a kind of paint watercolor um <laughs> my fan I just I just doused myself with water my fan is going so now be careful because this tombos they are so reactive all right so be very careful with your water and one of the things I noticed, um, if you have a paintbrush handy when you're doing this, yesterday my leaf started to go crazy. And if you bring in your paintbrush, you can actually, I don't want to do it here. Let me show you here on my sample that I was testing out yesterday. I'll show you. So I'll spray this, okay? And you can actually take this now and you can move this around however you like because like I said, you can watercolor with these markers. I know, psh, mind blown, insert insert emoji here. But I do want a little bit more water going on. And I love this, this, the big droplets of the water because I find that it gives me those little blobs, you know what I mean? Now. The neat thing is, is while this isn't really water reactive, if you put the biscotti, you see all these little color, like it looks like it's water reactive. That's your biscotti in there, okay? So get the biscotti going. And you know, I finally figured out what's wrong with this reinker or this spray stain. Okay, so let me show you. I'll do this one first. So you see here this little thingy, okay? You see here the little thingy inside that I'm always using to splatter. Okay, so let me put a few of these. Okay, and there we go. Now, this here is the same one they put in here. Therefore, that's why it's all turned like this. You see uh, right there, you see that? I'm like, why 
or mine like that. And then it dawned on me yesterday. I'm like, oh yeah, duh. Cause they're the same topper in a smaller bottle. So, and if you guys have not pre-ordered your Tim Holtz uh, colored, mica color Tim Holtzy stuff, then you may want to do that. I, I'm picking mine up from Paper and Ink here in Calgary. Shout out to my local stamping store, but I'm picking mine up. How did that happen already? Jeez Louise. So I will be playing with those big time. And I, I am trying really hard to bring you guys a really cool Halloween stencil. So there is this one. This one isn't quite as uh, water, water. I can't put more water now. So I'm just going to put this one to the side because I have one that is dry for you guys because I'm, I'm always thinking. But before I show you the dry one, um, I, have to show, I have to tell you about a tip. So here's a little hint to my little announcement earlier, but I've been watching a lot of Yana's videos and I came across one of her videos where she said, watercoloring, need that thing to dry a little quicker? Well, pull out your, glimmer machine, <laughs> words are hard, and just kind of stick it on there and I, I've been trying to get this to dry all day because if you were in the Stampin' Chat, now if you're in the Stampin' Chat, something really bad happened to that thing I made, but I fixed it. But if you're in the Stampin' Chat, this will look familiar because this is just on a piece of cardstock I ripped out of a Romeo and Juliet, um, excuse me, from a piece of paper I ripped out of a Romeo and Juliet paperback book never even read it but I'm reading it now as I'm crafting with it but that's one of the napkins that you saw me use and here are some dried flowers now these ones are not part of my bundle because these ones I have been saving these for so 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 long these came in some flowers Todd bought me and I pulled all the little petals out and I saved them because I save everything so nevertheless um I put this all on there and I just put my little uh, binder over top just to weight it down, okay? So I've had that sitting there because I wanted it to dry, but I wanna show you one of my other pieces of paper. You need a good 48 hours, if not more, okay? And I didn't get mine started until yesterday, but let me leave this one out so you guys can see it. And I wanna show you the other ones that I have made. So Stampin' Chat was, or excuse me, I said Stampin' Chat. I meant Friday Free For All. Stampin' Chat is Saturday. So, um, and that's for Inky Buddies and Inky Besties. So if you're on the fence, then definitely, but remember, if you join the website, you can only ever get freebie, uh, th the third, like the free trial of one of the memberships. So choose wisely, right? But this is what I made in the Friday Free For All. Okay, uh, it goes this way. All right, here was one of the napkins, and this is a Romeo and Juliet page as well. I did put the page on watercolor paper. This one I did not. Hindsight, um, I probably should have because this just really wants to curl a lot. But uh, you guys might remember I got the feather in there from the feathers. And then I went to run this through my laminator with um, my vellum. I have a piece of vellum carrier sheet I made it, but the vellum stuck everywhere where the napkin wasn't stuck. I had my, um, I'm umming a lot. Words are so hard today. <laughs> what do you call it? My steam iron. I was like, Shh, and I was peeling it. Shh. Oh, it took me a month of Sundays, but I did kind of peel it up in some spots. So I put on some Tim Holtzy crackle. So this one uh, do here. Do you have the Platinum 6 machine? I do. Well, so... I uh, want to know what are your thoughts on the machine. That's a good question. But that's a good question for after. And people in the chat would probably answer. I no, love I it. Answer, so that's why I asked you the question. Okay. Um def uh I will I will remind me at the end, okay, and I will definitely talk about that at the end. But uh here and you know it's so funny, poor Todd. I'm like, Todd, talk to me. Talk to me more. Like tell me what people are saying. <laughs> people are going 
why is he interrupting her for that? Because <laughs> I told him to. So now I can, I, I heard him like let out this like deflated breath over there. Like, now I'm doing what you told me to. And now I'm in trouble. But here I started a new uh, one here and I stamped this one. Because remember, I didn't stamp this one. Like this one, I stamped it all. And I had wanted to stamp this one and I didn't. But this one, I stamped this all with a new stamp I have. I'm going to bring this all out on Saturday for the stamp and chat. But I've got in here my rose petals. I've got in my lavender and all of this. Like, do you hear that? Oh, I lo love, 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 love this. So I want to do one of my cards on here. And I think I'm going to save this one. I want to do the other one on here because don't you think that these flowers, this is where I was inspired by this napkin. And then I remembered this this um, Simon Says stamp I got. And I thought, hey, that looks like, kind of reminds me, right? So I'm probably, I'm gonna save that one for one of these, but I wanna show you my trick here for cutting these out. I left them over here. Now, one of the things that will ruin a really good piece is you've got your, your card base, right? And then you're like, uh, where do I, you know, and have you ever cut it and you're like, ah, that's not where I wanted it. Or that's, I wish I had got more of the butterfly or I wish I had more of, you know, whatever. So take some acetate and these ones, I just recut them because these are a nice thick acetate. Um, I don't even know if they're considered acetate, but there's scratches all over them. So I can never really use them for something. So now you can take this and you can line it right up in your trimmer, right? And you can cut exactly, let me see if I can get a good, yeah, like, see? And then you can cut it exactly where you want it. So these here rose uh, petals and these here lavenders. And I have one more I'll show you guys that I made. But this one, I made this on a piece of packing paper that came in a box I know big surprise I get boxes of stuff and I don't find that the packing paper holds the uh, top piece as well like I got some white spots in here but these here lilies and I've got some lilies like here's lilies and these are uh, feathers but the lilies are super pretty I mean how could I have dried flowers and not have orange for you know who over there but let me put this one back because it's not quite dry and then we shall stamp up our sentiment and then we'll decide which one of these we're going to put this on for our neighbor day so here is my dried one okay and as you can see i got a little out of hand over here where my um but that's okay i'm not worried about it because that's when it's perfect, it's not homemade anymore, all right? Now, one of the things I did on here, and you can see here it looks whiter in these areas and down here. And one of the things I really like to do, especially if you're just putting a wash, like you have a certain cardstock or patterned cardstock, I mean, or you want to do it on vanilla and you don't want this stark white watercolor paper. Do that wash, but... A neat, neat effect is to take just your dirty little baby wipe here and crumple it so that it's not, you don't want a nice, like, smooth part like this, but take it and just kind of, you know, get like a little bit of, you know, crumples and then just kind of lightly tap it. And then you get that, like, marbled type look, you know, or I don't know, faux something. It's faux something something. I'm not sure what faux it is, but it's one of them. So nevertheless, I'm going to put this in my, not this one, I'm not, in my Misty. And while I'm pulling this out, I will uh, lightly mention on that Platinum 6, I bought it because it was, what was that, Todd? Todd? Doing something upstairs. Oh, okay. I bought it because it was teal. <laughs> and most of my room, I, I do plan on doing a studio tour for you guys soon, but most of my room is, um, I really hope I didn't lose the stamp. 
Where did it, can you close the basement door, honey? Where did that go? Oh no, I had the sentiment out here. Okay, let's let's just let's just calm down. I bought it because it was teal, and I was just gotta have it because it's teal. I mean, you know, and I was leaving Stampin' Up, and I needed a machine anyway, and I would buy it again and again. And the, my only regret is, or not a regret, my only gripe, if you will, is that you cannot buy the sparkly teal plates that come with it these guys you can't buy them separate i would love to just kind of stock up on those so that when that machine is gone i have more um i took this year the best out of here and uh, did i put it in this because i was gonna stamp in here oh no honey what'd you do with my stamp well I wanted you're the best because it's neighbor day and like I wanted to give it to my neighbors but I mean they sending hugs they might think I'm a little weird if I send them some hugs hmm what else did I have over here oh Wilbur speaking of Wilbur there may or may not be a Wilbur product launch. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It might be part of another announcement. But you know what? Let's just move on and use, uh, you are so special to me. That's kind of a little too neighborly, I would say. So let's go sending hugs. And then in the thumbnail, I'll do my uh, other one. Because I wanted this right in here. As you could see... I left that area on both because I can nestle my little sentiment up in there quite perfectly. That would be good. All right, let's make sure. Yep, perfect. I can't really magnet this down, but it is tight in the corner. Well, this isn't very straight though. Well, let's just hope we only have to stamp it one time, right? If we have to stamp it more than one time, well, then I guess we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Sending hugs. And I want this to be nice and stark on there. Oh. Hmm. Might have to get a marker out. <gasps> Wilbur, I know. Where did it go? Is it on the floor? Is it stuck to me? Is it on here? I don't know where it went. Oh, may maybe it's on the back of here. No. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, let's not put those on top of here though now. Come on now. All right. I don't know what happened to it. I really don't. Oh, I want to stamp it again, but I'm so afraid that it might have moved. Oh, I better not. I'll use a marker. I'll use a marker because I didn't use a thingy in here, right? So... Now let's put these back and my little fun piece of acetate that protects all my stickies in there. And I have to tell you guys, I am going to mention something here. Um, I When I unboxed these uh, sticky pads from My Sweet Petunia, I recognized the fact that everybody was complaining that they were so sticky. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like your brother mat or your cricket mat, they will not stay super sticky for long but they stay sticky enough to keep using them okay so don't stress about them being too sticky so if that was part of your 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 qualm on them then you shouldn't have to worry too much about that now okay Robin so says use your magnets along the edges to hold them in place well oh yeah i guess i could have done that like yeah, why you gotta go and like you know say something smart like that make me look like you know it's my first day. It's my first day today. What was it? Oh yeah, you guys should have seen in the in the distress oxides master class. Oh my gosh, I have to show you the things you don't think of. Oh, you guys will laugh at me. Okay, so here, um, or was it? Uh, it could have been alcohol inks. No, I think it was master class. Anyway, I was using these little guys um, and these here just for to create, you know, little rings and stuff like that. And I had like some of that sticky gum and I was like, you know, they're falling all over. They didn't want to stick to it. Oh, I was like, oh, what a pain that is. 
And somebody was like, oh, Cindy Lynn, you could have used your magnets. I was like, yeah, wow. wrote that. Can I watch your YouTube? Can I subscribe to your channel? Maybe I'll learn something. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, these magnets, they're, they're, they're good for more than, you know, more than what meets the eye. So as you can see there, I was just sticking my finger over to, ow, top of the ink because I think it's pretty dry. So what I want to do is one of two things. I'm thinking I was going to come in and kind of fussy cut around it. But you know what the problem with fussy cutting around it is? I've got this beautiful piece and then ugh, it goes this way, Cindy Lynn. And then I'm just gonna fussy cut around it. Let's decide here. So I've got two of these. One is the actual uh, size I usually do my cards and then I mat them. Um, I got my, yeah, I've got my feather right there and I've got the Romeo and Juliet right so now I think well, let's cut this out okay so let me show you how easy this is uh, let's use this one yeah let's use this one so best thing here to do is to get rid of your misty best thing to oh it's gonna be like there's my stamp but that's not the right one. Oh, what if it's under here no nope. <sighs> I thought you were going to say, get my magnet out and fish it around for my stamp. And then I read the rest of what Robin said. So use the bottom here because when you pull your arm down, it wants to push your paper. And it's really going to want to push your paper here, okay? So I'm going to line my acetate up with the edge of my paper for now. Just so that I can get a good cut on that there. And actually, let me line this up here first. There we go. Actually, Simon, this was a thing I learned from you watching your channel and I just moved it I'm gonna have to bring it up a bit and then get it on here so that I'm in the right spot that uh, doesn't matter I'm, a, I'm gonna be pretty close I can't get it under there perfectly but yeah I watched Simon you guys see what the white paper I told you guys way back when that I saw Simon do it but I put the white paper let's try that again Maybe I have to watch Simon's video again. I can remember how to do it. All right. Now, make sure that you're moving this out of the way because you don't want that to get smaller and smaller and smaller every single time that you do it, right? So, I just want the edge there of that... Um, feather. Okay. And then here we'll get this side okay I'm good now so let's go let's go four. Oh, that's not straight what happened I gotta straighten that oh because this top isn't straight hold on good thing I saw that before I trimmed it too far my top wasn't straight okay that's straight so let's go four yet yeah, we're good now four by five and a quarter and then we can mat this and I'm probably gonna mat it on some kind of chocolate colored cardstock okay so now if I go and give this a perfect around the edge I'm just kind of worried that it might look too intentional I don't know um, you know what I almost want to make like the card just be this like really, I almost want to just kind of change my direction for a moment. I almost want to just go, because it just seems so right, seems so wrong to kind of cut this apart now. And how much shorter did I go? I went uh, that many, however much that is, that's about this much. Oh, I'm going to have to go a little bit more again. It just seems so wrong. You know what I mean? It's such a pretty card front. But, ooh, that's my favorite trick. That's where I learned it. I learned it from you. 
Okay, I think I'm still gonna I'm still gonna kind of fussy cut this because that was where I wanted to go with this. So uh, let's get my other scissors. These ones. No, I better take these. Alrighty, let's just go for it. So um, I know I I got some of you guys there. You're gonna be like, oh, I hate fussy cutting, and it's like, honey. What did you do before dies? <laughs> you you must have complained a lot <laughs> because I am not a fan. I mean, I'm not like, you know, it's not my favorite thing to do, but if you want to like, you know, create your own scenes with your stamps and stuff, sometimes like on here, you just got to you just got to go for it. And as long as um you don't take a wide corner, as long as you've got, you know, big stamps, then you shouldn't have too much problem. And everybody's like, oh, but you make it look so easy. I don't... It's not... Robin says you got to fussy cut and then distress the edges. Yeah, I was thinking about bringing out my uh, Tim Holtz distressor, but I don't know. I think I might. I don't know, really. I want to keep some of my my little inky stuff there, too. You notice how I kept my little blue blobs? had to keep those but let's um I want to save this too because I might be able to reuse that for something something else but I am so excited I I wish I could just you know what I've learned I've learned I can't say things until like it's in my hands <laughs> because sometimes it's like I say something and then something happens and then I'm like so yeah about that but i wish i could tell you guys like all my little secrets and news and uh, usually i kind of spill the beans to the besties though because you know they're they're pretty forgiving they don't usually hold me to much thank goodness now i did kind of lose a lot of my light colored flower here but i'm gonna still pretend that he's the star of the show and kind of cut him out here um at the very least, I'm going to come in with my new distressing tools and I'm going to put some vintage photo around here. So as you can see, fussy cutting, uh, how about we change the name of it? How about we change the name to not so fussy cutting because, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it doesn't have to be perfect every time like you don't have to have the same amount around each individual image you know what I mean but oh yeah I really like these stamps Heidi yes okay I do think we need to put some uh, okay so I got I'm only going to show you one because you're going to die when you see these. Okay, I'm going to show you all. Look at these. Look at those. And they're, and they're hairy. <laughs> and they do not want to be shaved. Look at these. Oh, focus. Look at that hair. But I'm going to pull out. <clears throat> it comes um, small, <clears throat> medium, and I'm going to use the small. Small, medium, and large. Oh, I don't want this one. I want the other vintage photo. So funny. I have only a few of these outside of my distressing colors. I went one time to um, actually the Scrapbook Expo. And I saw distress inks. Holy Moses, they were five bucks. I couldn't get, I, I was, I, I would have knocked women over. I was like, good thing there was nobody in my way. I would have knocked them over five bucks each in Canada for five dollars. So I, I tried to restrain myself and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, as soon as I got them home and got them out of the bag, I realized what I had done. They weren't, uh, this is going to take me forever. You know what I might do? Hold on. <clears throat> as soon as I got them home, I realized they were not distress inks, distress oxides. They were distress inks. So I was like, oh. I was like so upset. I'm just going to kind of go like this really quick to get my big areas. 
Like I don't want to get too much of this inside, but just to get these big areas or we're going to be here till nine o'clock. I mean, I like y'all and everything, but I don't know if you like me that much. You want to hang out till nine o'clock. You want to hang out till nine o'clock? Then you got to join as a bestie and um, come to our real time stamping at the end of the month. Every last Friday of the month. And I'm sorry, I changed the class date this month. Um, you guys got to remind me August. <laughs> August. I was going to say October. August. I cannot do class on the third Saturday of the month because I'm not here on the third weekend of the month in August. You guys remember where I was last year? I went to Cheryl Lee's summer property and did my Halloween projects, which I am going to show you guys because, oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute this year. I'm just obsessed with them this year. Last year, I had, um, last year I had Stampin' Up! stuff to work with, so I was able to make treat bags, and it's kind of hard to do treat bags and those kinds of things, you know, I thought it was, because you know me, I'm not, I don't really get to thinking outside of that kind of box. <laughs> no pun intended. Street bags. or ugh, Never mind. Lost my train of thought there. Um, gift bags. Street box. Gift boxes. Street bags. Street boxes. So I'm going to make treat bags this year, but I've got a really cool design for them. So there. Now I am going to come again and just, I want to kind of darken some of these areas up, but I don't want to... I don't want to do it with that because it's a little bit too much. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then you can just bring it in those little areas, get it a little darker in some spots and not so much in others. Funny enough, you guys might have an answer for me. Let's see. Let's see what you guys have to say. I was talking the other night and I was like, remember, remember when we were young as girls and we would like write, you know, a poem to a boy and then we'd like burn all the edges and like put it all special in a book and make it like you know so cool I don't know maybe you did it but it wasn't for like poems to a boy or anything but I used to write a lot of poetry and I used to do that but I was like oh I would love 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 to be able to burn like the have the burn effect on the edges I know that when you kind of you know ink it and whatnot you sort of get that but it's not the same you know what I mean so what can you do to make your edges look burned but not set off your smoke detector type thing? You know what I mean? Are you following me? I think this one should go on this one. I think this one needs to go on this one. It just feels like it goes better. What do you guys think? I think, I don't know. I'll bring it up so you can see. A or... B. No, I think I got to put it on this one right here. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's almost the same color. And I could take from up here and I've even got this little flower there and this flower. You know what I mean? Like, okay. I think I will. I think I will. Thanks. Good advice. Good advice. What do I do without you guys? Stick around. Stick around. Don't go nowhere. I wish I knew where that stamp went. That would be nice. Okay, this one's going to be a little easier because I'm going to follow my paper line. So let's go. I'm going to cut it actually inside this. If you're wondering what this paper is, um, <laughs> Heather gave me this paper and you may or may not recognize it, Miss Heather, when you watch this. But um, she gave me this paper pad. Here, I'll show it to you because it's right here. She gave me this paper pad. And that was how this one was born. So I just stamped all over it, right? And then put all my fun stuff. So that's where that came from. Any ideas there, dear, on the... Um, burning thing none so far oh i like the way that goes over the edge there maybe i won't cut that part i wanted to cut this part so here let's cut this edge 
Let's start it right there. I'm just trying to match up so that I'm getting straight lines. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's turn it over and go four. I'm not going to get anything out of that if I cut it all the way down. So let's start here and go five and a half. I'm still not going to get anything. Uh, oh, well, I'll just only have the corner of it, I suppose. I really wanted to do something out of that one. Maybe I'll just have to make another one. Oh, this one's only four inches. There we go. I just feel like, what, did anybody agree with me? Pain in the pita. It's a pita, Karen Munson. It's a pita, a P-I-T-A, a pain in the beep. All right, so I like that. I like that one a lot. What do you guys think? Hmm? This one or this one? I feel like this one only needs a sentiment right around in here, like coming in, you know what I mean? So that it doesn't take away from anything. And I also think that this one, yeah, this should get colored in as well. All of these should become brown, but that's a whole nother, whole nother time. Maybe this one. I think this one. Yep. I can't decide tonight. I'm just so indecisive. How wide is this one? Yeah. Okay, this one, I'm going to tear it because I don't have enough to make it a perfect... Um, uh, Heather recognizes the paper. Who recognizes... Oh, Heather's here. here now. Oh, Heather's here. She recognizes the paper. You gotta love it when your friends show up and go, Hey, I saw this and thought of you, so here... It's like, that is so awesome because I love it. This is actually really difficult to cut because um, it's so crinkly now. Like, oh, wait, here we go. Cheryl Lee says you should burn it with an iron. Cheryl Lee is here. Yeah. An iron. Would you, iron would a you iron burn the paper? Would a you iron? <laughs> I don't know if it would burn it so much as like, that's what I wanted. Honey, you should try to contain your excitement over there. I am. Especially those large yawns. It could be worse. I could have you over here helping. Yeah, okay, let's make this. There we go. I just wish I could kind of tear this a little easier. It's very difficult. I don't know if you guys realize how difficult this is to tear because it's like got all the glue on it, right? So let me just get this little bit out of here. This little bit's bugging me. It's just, oh, I can't get it out. Okay. So now let's go down. How big do we, where do we want to cut this? Where's my thingy gone? my little clear piece go I don't know okay we're just gonna have to wing it then where's my trimmer oh I just moved it I don't know where my little clear piece went so let's go hmm okay that's five and a half this comes down here I kind of like that but I don't really want to lose the whole Romeo and Juliet so Let's leave Romeo and Juliet there. Actually, let's go the length of the paper. That's what we'll do. I'll show you what I mean. Because I don't want to keep tearing it. So the background, let's pretend it's this big, right? So it'll go like this. And then it'll just go down the length of the paper. But it'll only be exposed on the sides, okay? So we're going to cut it at exactly 5 and... Our water right there look at that perfect and we'll put it on brown so let me pull it oh <laughs> remember i would always go there for my paper <laughs> my paper's at the other end of the room now so we will put it on brown i'll have to grab brown because we've moved everything dear so Charlie said not a curling iron but an iron well, yeah, I figured that she meant an iron that you iron things with. But the problem is, is we don't own an iron anymore. Because 
it burned out. <laughs> Pun intended. That iron I had since, oh my gosh, I don't know how long, since my house burned down. It was one of the first things I bought after my house fire. Because I remember I bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond. That was like a that was like a Julia Roberts moment where I had like four shopping carts and two store assistants and it was like I was just going to town. But nevertheless, see there now. So I don't can you let me lift it up so you can see. Or here, let me put it on a piece of light so you can see. So there we just got the sides, okay? I really like this side because this side came out of the book, right? So you could, if you want, bring that closer and tear this even more, but I want it to kind of be somewhat the same. So there, and I think this should go down about here, but we are gonna pop this up and let's use, yeah, we'll use white. But yes, that's how long ago that was. And my house burned down in 2003. So that iron, <laughs> That iron was, it's been around a long time. And first all the stuff underneath went, like not all of it, but you'd iron and like the Teflon would be coming off. And it's like, oh, uh, I had, I had like somewhat of a sentimental attachment to that iron. It had been around a long time, you know, so, but finally had to let it go. And I bought one of those uh, steam ones from Amazon. And I have to tell you, that stuff, that thing is no joke. It is no joke. It does exactly what you think it does. It is, it's pretty, it's pretty flippin' awesome if you ask me. So this, normally I would glue this, but I'm going to tell you what would happen. If you try to glue this, the glue is going to ripple because this is just a piece of paperback. Okay, look at that side. That looks really cool. It's just a piece of paper back. So I am going to use my Simon Says stamp thing that I got for free with a bunch of free refills with my purchase. So I'm going to use this and it's kind of cute because all these little green dots come out. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm a trusty, trusty user of Simon Says Stamp products. I can't imagine how you would steer us wrong with this stuff. So I'm sure it's, oh, it's very sticky, by the way. Um, I haven't used it much, but I may not have much left by the time I've done this project. I'm never sure how much of that stuff to use anymore because we don't use it often, right? Excuse the bun. Make sure you're all lined up before you commit. There we go. So pretty. Now we'll bring this out and just kind of clean up the bottom because my what brand paper. Of steam iron do you have? I have the white and blue one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, email me and I'll give you the link because I love it. Like love it. It heats up fast. It's like awesome. Email me, I'll give you the link. All right, so actually, you know what? Just because I mentioned it, I'll link it below because everybody else will want to know too and everybody else will email me, so don't email me. I will link it below for you guys, okay? So that everybody's not like, huh, ah, Cindy Lynn. You know, I'd, have to, I'd hate to have Nanny Pondo going crazy over, over having to email everybody back, right? So we shall put this on and our sentiment is done. And embellishments, OMG, you guys are going to die. You are going to die. I can't show you today because I have to do an unboxing, but you are going to die. I told you about them. I teased and hinted about them. They have arrived. They have arrived. They have arrived. They have arrived. Oh, I kind of like that. I was going to go down here, but I kind of like this right here right into the brown like that what size did I cut this I don't even know I sure hope I cut this right and I got a little piece here too much okay now I pulled these out 
Okay, this one won't go now, but the gold will. The blue definitely will. And we need one more. So let's go with, oh, I cannot wait to show you guys. Oh, let's go with these Spellbinders ones. I got these Spellbinders ones. Yep, they are Spellbinders. I got these at Paper and Ink because you know me and my sequins and these ones are solid and I love it. So I pull these out and let's go. Oh yeah, yeah, those are perfect, perfect, perfect. And we'll get a big fat one. I remember, the, that sounded really good. I remember the very first time I was watching Laura Basson and she tucked one underneath like this. And I was like, Laura, what are you doing hiding that beautiful sequin girl? I'm like literally talking to the screen. And now I'm like, oh, I get it. I know why she does that. And I do it too now. Cause, cause I, I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost as grown up as, and, and you know, all grown up, like almost as Laura is. I wonder if she'd remember me. I sent her a card when I had like 500 subscribers. I was like, Laura, I don't mean to be a stalker person, but I'm such a fangirl. Can I mail you a card? Cause she inspired me to make a card. And anyway, um, I said, honest to God, like, I'm not, I'm not like a psycho. I'm not like a stalker, blah, blah, blah. And we chatted a little, um, cause her husband is from Calgary and, um, let's go, hold on. So she's like, Oh, do you like Peter's drive-in? Or she's like, I remember Peter's drive-in, my husband and I, blah, 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 yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, Peter's drive-in. What, what? But I should, I should send her a, Hey girl. Hey. Uh, I don't know if I like the gold now. I think we need this uh, color. This, um, oh, maybe, no, that's not right. We need that color in here. But yeah, I should send her a message and be like, hey, what's up, Laura, girl? I watch her channel, but I'm just so bad at commenting. I don't, I, I'm so bad. I tell you guys, comment, comment. But I'm like, I'm a, I'm a lurker. I'm a, I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to commenting. So I'm really struggling to find, here we go. Here we go. I know Stampin' Up! has the right color right here. It's actually the perfect color. Thank you, Stampin' Up! So I can't link these two, but they are artistry blooms. I don't even know if they're still like making them, if they're still a thing or if they're not or whatever. But um, yeah, that's what they are. And I think we're going to switch this one out for a large. I never, I, I try to never do embellishments on screen with you guys because I am so fussy. And then this one will bring it down a little. It's right about there. Okay, commit, commit. I'm a commitment phobe. Until I met you, honey. Oh. Until I met you. I think I'm going to bring this one up here. Right about. No. Uh, okay, I'm going to put it here, but I'm going to move the blue one. Because now I don't like where the blue one is. I'm not the only one that does this, right, you guys? I need to, I need all of my fussy people to be like, I'm right there with you, Cindy Lynn. And I got a sticky in there. What can I stick you? Or are you more of a, no, <laughs> who's got time for that? I just slap those embellishments on there and call it a day. I need to know. Is it just me? There, that looks better. Am I the only fussy one? Where's my fussy girls and boys? that one and I think I'm only gonna do two up here so I'm either gonna go with a blue which I think might be a little nope let's go with the blue let's do it uh oh I hate it when I do that when I peel it off of the glue there so there super cute right I love it and then I'm gonna have to put it on a vanilla card because if you see I don't want that. You know what I mean? So I don't have any of my vanilla cards pre-cut right now. So you'll have to see it in the thumbnail. Holy moly, look at that. I am so awesome on the time. Into the brown. Oh, never.
forever into the brown. Chris is screaming at her screen, Cindy Lynn, a little more to the left. I do that all the time when I'm watching people. I'm like, gee. <laughs> so the flowers. Got a couple in this one. Got some in this one. I love the lavender. And then the roses and the lilies and take your pick. You guys decide. Um, oh, and you know what? Just for being the awesome, fun people that you are, I'll even throw in a coupon code for you guys because Inky Besties get their 15% off. They had their they had their fun yesterday. So for everybody else, um, and Inky Besties, if you can get to your computer before I can because I forgot to exclude Inky Besties from this coupon, but it's for the dried flowers and it's for 15% off and it's three number three say it with me number three honey can you type it with me number three flowers all in capital letters i don't know that the capitals matter or not but three flowers because there are not number three just three <laughs> so type it again just the three flowers and it's only good until tomorrow i'll do tomorrow I was going to say midnight, but I didn't want to be like, I didn't want to be like, oops. And I'm sure Kathy Z's are. I should have a look at hers. Three flowers, all one word. Okay. I'm going to type it for you guys. Poor Todd. I'm going to type it. This is your coupon. Oh, I got a list. I got a list here. Uh-oh. Okay. I'll go through my list before I go. Three flowers. That's your coupon. Okay. Did it, did it type? Where am I? Whew. Okay. So. Um, okay. Karen, yes. Email me. I will. I'm, I'm setting that up this month. Okay. If you guys saw what Karen asked, can you pay for three or six months at a time? I am setting that up this month for you guys. Um, so yes. Uh, Pamela, I will look at your membership and see what's going on. And the Platinum 6, I did go over that. So, hopefully that's everything. But yes, there's the card. I lost the screen. I was gone on a different screen talking to you guys. Thank you for visiting us, Simon Hurley from Inklips. If you guys haven't checked out Simon's channel... Uh, definitely go do that or on my Instagram the last card I put up there I tagged him you can click him there and find his links and everything or just look for his name in the chat and type it type it in YouTube and you'll find it Pamela's fussy thank you cuz I'm fussy who else is fussy Jeanette's fussy Christine is with see so and I feel pressured when I'm doing this with you I'm like oh, this and you land hurry up but I'm really happy with this. I'm happy that I used this here. And that, show me where else you can do this and get like, you can read all the writing behind there. So, so cool, right? Anyhow, thank you for joining us tonight. Would you like to say goodbye, honey? Goodbye, everybody. You didn't say goodbye, honey. Bye, honey. I was gonna, and then I was gonna follow it up with, would you like to say Go ahead, take my credit card and go buy some stamps? No. No, I guess not. But thank you guys. And thank you again, Simon, for popping by. So until I see all of my inky buddies and inky besties on Saturday, I will see the rest of y'all next week. Uh, watch for some videos to be popping up soon because i got some stuff coming for you guys. So until I see you again, take care and happy stamping.